Hi. Hi. Um, thank you so much for taking the time this morning to chat with us. The 25th anniversary, I mean, that's massive, right? Um, I mean, when I watched it as a kid, I was a little bit older, but I still enjoyed the show, like, you know, being, like you said, getting close to the camera and stuff like that and all of that. So how does it feel to see the amazing reaction from that music video that you guys released yesterday? I mean, it was so heartwarming to me. I mean, it put me in tears just watching, you know, seeing Steve back. Um, so I was just curious as to how that, how that made you guys feel. I feel like it's all <laughs> overwhelming and yeah, because you can say it and you can say what you want it to happen. And we worked really hard to get to this point, you know, all the things that we say on the show we did. Um, but yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't stop being um, overwhelming and beautiful. And yeah, it's, it's like all that. the feelings all at once. <laughs> and we, I think yesterday, we still can't watch that video without tearing up. Um, even though we know everything and word by word, there's it just always just oh pulls at those heartstrings, and we just feel so privileged and honored to be part of kids' lives in that way, or young adults' lives now, and the world that we're making such an impact just feels good. It feels like we're making a difference, which is overwhelming. That's all we do is cry. <laughs> we just cry. So um, I'm curious as to how, how Blue's Clues has changed, obviously, over the last 25 years due to the digital age, right? So I, like we were talking about earlier, just the 25th anniversary, and um, now, you know, kids young have iPads and tablets and TV. It's not, it's not the same as whenever we were all kids. So how has it been to kind of morph into that as you guys have obviously grown up and worked in the preschool environment? Um, what kinds of things have been challenges for you to, you know, incorporate into the Blue's Clues show? And what has been the most exciting part of that? I think the first thing about what you said is that we want to be everywhere kids are. So the fact that they can take Blue's Clues on the road with them, you know, and we've always been built to be interactive. And so Noggin um, and the team did, did interactive episodes for, you know, that kids can literally play and draw their own clues and do all of that on the iPad. So just taking the technology to the next level for the experience of Blue's Clues is lovely. And then, of course, we needed to point to it on, on the show. Awesome. Yeah, it's definitely fun. I have a six year old. And so he has a lot of the Blue's Clues toys and stuff like that. And he loves to take them, you know, the little notebook and stuff like that. He loves to take them. But the interaction of, you know, stuff like that, the games on the tablets and being able to watch the shows wherever he goes is is pretty cool. So it's and the awesome. notebook, right? You're gonna have a notebook for the rest of your life. Like you're Absolutely. always needing yeah, it. So it's like a right. great tool to have. Getting a no new notebook is so much fun for me. <laughs> <laughs> So I was curious if you guys have a favorite Blue's Clues episode or a moment over the many years. I know it's probably really hard to pick. So hard. Well, like we said before, the, the first episode of each host is definitely makes an impact because it, you're seeing how they're bringing their own talent and connecting to the screen and the world. Um, and the evolution of the series, which is, which is so great. Yeah. So thinking about snack time as its first, the first ever episode and everything that went into that, you know, we can see it when we watch it and we can feel it, which is so exciting. Um, and then when we really planned a trilogy and did research when Steve was leaving to go to college and then Donovan with his, you know, Jonas, like it's <laughs> so much fun and playful and kids just love him still, right, to this day. And, um, and then when Josh came in, it was like, you know, like just like took us to another level and he's, the whole package and talented and emotional and authentic and cares. So like that first episode that Josh ever did, you know, stepping on in front of the camera was probably very yeah. um, impactful too. And we are excited too, you know, you'd think after 25 years, the stories would get stale, but no, they're just expanding and the dimensions are opening up and just all the new adventures that were going on with Josh. And also, I think it's fun to, in the reboot of introducing old oh, characters, oh. I was thinking of Periwinkles coming up. We have a premiere of our uh, Periwinkle moves in and just that knowing that we're introducing our old friend to a new audience is been really exciting. And I think leaning in for Josh, like his meeting his Lola, meeting, you know, celebrating his culture, like mm -hmm. all of those episodes are so hit you in the heart too, because there's mm -hmm. there and they're so beautiful as mm -hmm. well. So yeah, there's a lot of favorites. <laughs> sure. There's a lot of episodes to pick from <laughs> in a lot of different moments, but it's been fun to watch it over the years for sure. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So what is the character that you feel you relate to the most? 
Blue, obviously. <laughs> blue is a given. Anybody else? I know. <laughs> That's a hard question. I'm not, I know. I don't know. It is like kids. It's like asking your favorite kids because you do love them each. Well, I think blue and magenta as best friends, we totally relate to yes, and love when they're together is the best. Rainbow puppy is our new character that is just like Miss Broadway, which we love so much too. Like that just cracks us up. And Mr. Salt has been like a favorite from the beginning because he's like he's the a staple. Original Mr. He's Salt is one of the original Pepper, characters. The, the real adults in the house you know and they do take control and we love their whole little world um is there so many you know that we just think are hysterical or that we love or... yeah we're excited that periwinkle's coming back um in an episode i think this month introducing periwinkle again to this generation it's great yeah that's exciting thank you guys so very much thank oh you. i want to do a shout out to snail because snail you know is our Three times very introverted, in very introverted and quiet, but she's there three episodes or three times every episode, and she's for the making her fans. debut in the movie too. Fun! That sounds so yeah. exciting. I can't wait for the movie and to see what comes next with Blues Blues. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.